Devil's Knot is another dark film about a gruesome murder, though this one is far more controversial. In the early 90s, three boys were found brutally murdered in West Memphis, Arkansas. Three teenagers were later found guilty of the crime and punished accordingly. However, these three teenagers, known as the West Memphis Three, have slowly gained a large following who believes that they were innocent of the murders. Whether they were innocent is not my place to say because I don't know enough about the case. Several documentaries have been made over the years, books have been written, and last year a feature film called Devil's Nod was made about what happened. We get a story rife with details concerning the crime and the trials of the West Memphis Three. We get the shocked grief felt when the boys' bodies are found, and we see how an entire community turned on three misfits who may or may not have actually been guilty. Bias was against them because they were fascinated by the occult and because they were troubled youths at the time with questionable histories. As I said before, I haven't seen the documentaries and I haven't read much about it until recently, but what got me interested in this film was the fact that Adam Ogoyan directed it. Those of you who have followed my channel will know that I think Adam Ogoyan is one of Canada's best filmmakers. And meanwhile, this was his very first American production, dealing once again, as he's done before, with the topics of justice, truth, and crime. The movie's focus is on Pam Hobbs, the mother of one of the victims, and Ron Lax a private investigator who joins the defense team. We don't really get to know that much about Ron, nor do we get much insight into why he's so convinced that the West Memphis Three are innocent. Pam, however, is given more room to develop. Grief gives her a desperation to see justice carried out. But the more she listens in on the case, the more uncertain she becomes. The investigation and trials play out in a way that's supposed to make us angry at how incompetently the case was handled, and if we're to believe the movie, we're right to be angry. We see three teenagers' lives ruined based on circumstantial evidence at best. The film hints towards other people being possible suspects, even as the people grow convinced that the West Memphis Three are guilty. The film, meanwhile, is competently made. It's well-filmed, well-acted, and the soundtrack by Michael Donna is appropriately haunting. Yet it feels off somehow. Adam McGoin is known for defying conventional storytelling, and this is one of his most straightforward stories yet. He refuses to make a firm decision on who's guilty or innocent, letting us decide for ourselves. But the problem is that it's following in the wake of several documentaries and books already going into full detail on the subject. Devil's Knot seems best made for people who know nothing of the case, which, in my case, worked out. But Devil's Knot doesn't seem to have offered anything new to the topic except a good reenactment of the events as they played out. Bizarrely, it feels like Oliver Stone's W in that regard. Both of them are films which put painstaking efforts to recreate a series of events without leaving as much of an impact as one would expect. It's safe to say that Devil's Knot falls short of Adam McGoin's better works, but that doesn't mean it's without merit. As I said before, it's got a great soundtrack, memorable performances, and it features the return of several actors who have worked with Ogoyan in the past. Now, of course, if you like more straightforward films, then you'll probably enjoy this more than some of his other works. But all it seems to really do is draw further attention to a tragedy and the possible injustice that happened in its wake. And I think that's the biggest problem I have with Devil's Knot. It has all of Adam McGoin's technical filmmaking skill without the complex ideas which made me like him in the first place.